Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. Today we are going to install NS 3.45 which is recently released and we are going to install in Ubuntu 24.04. So OS we are going to use 24.04 Intel 64-bit uh, architecture and NS3 version is NS-3.45. So this time NS3.45 uh, without any all-in-one package it's come directly coming with the uh, source uh, source file and step one is installation of the prerequisites so open a new terminal and install the following commands one after the other first always whenever you try always use give sudo apt update now open the terminal and do this command give the password yes it's done so next thing next is you copy the entire commands the all the packages which is required for installing ns3 and other uh, third party libraries of ns3 so install all the packages in case if you get any error this package is not found then you can try should have to update one more time or remove the corresponding package and try again so since i already installed that's why uh, it it is not installing all other packages because already is installed so in case you are trying for the first time this will install somewhere around 600 mb and uh, once the installation is done so we go for downloading ns 3.45.tar.bz2 from the nsnam.org website so open the browser and search ns3 the first link discrete even network simulator and download go to the latest release in that click the link and now as of now there is no all-in-one package and the all-in-one package will be released in the next month so the current latest release is ns 3.45 so when you click the link the software will be downloaded now go to the home folder after it is downloaded move the above file to home folder in my machine it is home slash pradeep kumar so that is my name of my home folder so in the download folder i just go and check the file so this is the file copy it and go to the home you can left hand side you can see and right click and paste after pasting right click over the file and click extract once it is extracted you can see bottom left hand side the extraction process you can able to view and once it is done a folder name ns-3.45 is created so see that this folder is created so now we have to open one more terminal to install the ns3 now this is worth installing ns3 step number three so again open a new terminal you can able to use the same terminal again but since it may lead to some confusion so always go with open a new terminal once you are if you are a new user and if you already know how to install these things then you can try with the same terminal okay so cd ns-3.45 yes and now we are going to install the packages dot slash ns3 space configure then space double hyphen enable hyphen examples so we'll enable all the examples of all the uh, source files source uh, i mean all the algorithms protocols of ns3 and enable hyphen test and put enter So everything is installed there is no warning so now we will go with dot slash ns3 build but there are some packages or no, some modules are not been built like visualizer bright click mpa all these things but other things have built so in the top you can see there are so many modules have been configured to be built now all these packages will be installed once you type the command dot slash ns3 slash build so this is the next command we are going to type ns3 space build enter Yes, you can see uh, there are 2002 packages since I have already installed all the packages. Now I uh, for the recording purpose, I am just creating the video one more time. So that's why all packages have already been installed. But in case it will take around 20 to 30 minutes depending on your computer speed. So yeah, the number of processes are RAM. Okay, so now it is done. So uh, we have installed successfully. Now we will run some examples. And uh, I have given three examples here. So all the examples 
you can see uh, when you run it, it it should give some constructable or considerable output so it indicates that installation is fine now let us go into running the examples dot slash nursery run hello hyphen simulator now we can see it is telling hello simulator now next thing is dot slash ns3 run first then dot slash ns3 you can see at two seconds the client sent 1024 bytes to an ip address at port number nine then uh, at time 2.00369 that means almost after uh, 3.7 milliseconds 3.69 milliseconds later the server received it at port number 49.153 then again the server is uh, sending the same file to the client at the same time then again after uh, 0 0.00737 seconds uh, the client received that byte so this is a simple client server communication which is demonstrated in uh, first.cc file now this is one example that we have now similarly we go with second we have up to seven examples uh, second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh example now all the three examples we have seen it so first example is only is client server second example is client server with the wi-fi third example is wi-fi ethernet and point to point all the uh, all the three connections now where these examples are located is uh, cd examples slash tutorial so once you go to this folder you can see all the examples are available here you can see so first dot cc second dot cc third dot cc everything is already available here so from this location only we have we have been running all these files in case if you want to know the explanation of the source code you can check my other videos i have already given the source code okay so now we, i'll run some python files also available here i am just running the python file dot slash ns3 run first dot py so once i run this python file dot cc file you can able to use it because cc either you can give dot cc or without dot cc it works but python file dot py when i type it gives an error that means python is uh, python file or python bindings is not yet built in ns3 so for that there's a separate procedure for it and we have to use that so in case if you want to learn if you want to do everything through python then you have to use python bindings also so for that there's a separate procedure let me uh, have the procedure here python 3 hyphen m v e n v that is virtual environment first we have to create a python 3 virtual environment and you create one temporary folder in the home folder please see that i have i am just located in the home folder that's why you put the command cd and put enter you come to the home here i am creating a folder name called as vnv space ns3 hyphen venv that is underscore venv i am creating one folder after that source so i am just activating that particular folder to download all the python libraries source dot slash ns3 hyphen venv slash bin slash activate once you activated you can see the terminal bash prompt changes you can see the left hand side ns3 venv there so that means we are in the virtual environment of uh, python so now there you install pip install cpp yy so once you do that this package will be downloaded so this package this might take again some time uh, two three four minutes it takes then but this package is important for running the python bindings now once it is done we have to go back to cdns-3.45 then dot slash ns3 configure configure space double hyphen enable hyphen python hyphen bindings so this is style of uh, using uh, the attributes of this command python hyphen binding so once you do that now the configuration established for enabling the python bindings now we will be running the example dot slash ns3 once we do that so earlier it was 2002 packages now we have 2005 packages so that means all the 2005 packages that includes python necessary codes also so now my python file is running successfully now you can check the output of python file run first dot py now since whenever you run python file there will be a initially there are some warnings will be there you discard the warnings at the end of warnings you can see you can see the output there 
you can see the same two seconds 2.003 seconds so the same output we are getting it here but when you observe it the python is uh, very slower compared to uh, c++ i'll show the example so again second.py also we can run it or third.py so whatever python files available you can run it third.py yes so now we can see the speed of uh, c++ as well as the speed of python file so let me run it here so first uh, <coughs> third third simply third when you see it is a c++ file now third.py you can see see how long this takes so you can understand that if you want to run a faster simulation go with the .cc file or c++ file if uh, speed or performance is not a concern you can now work on the python files so this is how we install ns3 and then we run the examples and if you want more examples you can uh, watch my other videos so that you can get benefited out of my channel now you can see if all these examples give considerable outputs then ns2 install successfully for other examples and advanced simulations go through my channel and get benefited and subscribe to my channel and in case if you want to see advanced simulation i have a membership model also where you can join there with a minimal amount and uh, you can uh, see advanced simulations like 5g networking then passive optical networks then uh, aqua sim underwater networks then drone simulation etc thanks for watching friends